President Trump banned from most social media. Yeah, but he's back on Twitter with a new video after being suspended for 12 hours. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. A new administration will be inaugurated on January 20th. Now, in addition to finally conceding his loss, the president also promised to punish the rioters who stormed the Capitol yesterday. And while Mr. Trump may be back on Twitter tonight, KPI X5's Andrea Borba reports his future on social media remains uncertain. Andrea? Well, it is not known exactly how long his ban on social media could go. At the moment, Facebook is calling it indefinite. There is a protest that has popped up here at the Twitter building just in the past few minutes on this very subject. But let's get you to the story today about whether or not President Trump and Citizen Trump will be the same thing on Twitter and Facebook going forward. For a presidency built on social media communication, President Donald Trump has found himself effectively deplatformed from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch until at least after Inauguration Day. In a statement, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said this. We removed these statements yesterday because we judged that their effect and likely their intent would be to provoke further violence. Ian Schur of CNET says a moment of reckoning happened after yesterday's insurrection at the U.S. Capitol for social media giants. There's no question that Facebook and Twitter on some level recognize what they have been a part of here. And the fact that they took extraordinary steps for them, it's it's huge. For a lot of us, it's like the last thing at the 11th hour. The ban from Facebook is at least until Joe Biden is inaugurated on the 20th, but possibly indefinitely, which is what former First Lady Michelle Obama is pushing for. Now is the time for Silicon Valley companies to stop enabling this monstrous behavior and go even further than they already have by permanently banning this man from their platforms. David Green, Chief Civil Liberties Officer for the Electronic Frontier Foundation, um, says even the temporary ban doesn't run afoul of U.S. law because they are private companies. So the, they don't violate the president's uh, legal rights by by locking his accounts or freezing his accounts or shutting down his accounts. Um, in fact, they are exercising their own First Amendment rights. For some, the ban is an 11th hour move for the companies to save face in the face of violence. I think it's the best thing to do. Let people calm down for a little bit, think about what happened, process it. So, Andrea, will things change once again when President Trump is no longer head of state? Well, that is the question that remains tonight. President Trump, along with Narendra Modi and Bolsonaro down in Brazil, have been given head of state privileges by many of these social media companies, meaning they don't censor, they don't take down, they don't block what they say, as opposed to regular citizens who, if they say inflammatory things, things that incite violence, have their posts taken down, have their accounts frozen. It is a question of what happens on January 20th at 12.01 p.m. and beyond that, exactly how these companies deal with Mr. Trump. Trump going forward. Yeah, lots at stake. All right, Andrea, thank you. New at six, Oakland saw a major spike in murders in 2020, and the police chief is now saying looming budget cuts could mean slower response times for certain crimes. KPI X5's Da Lin spoke one on one with the interim chief just a few hours ago. Oakland, the most dangerous city in the Bay Area, saw more than 100 murders last year. Instead of getting more help, the police department is facing more cuts. The police chief says fewer officers will mean longer response times for low-priority crime. We recognize every cut to the